Welcome to STAB exam forum. In this session, we will see the remaining question that we have left in the previous video. Okay, so without any delay, let's begin this video. And the first question is on your screen and your time starts now. Student, this question is from the chapter HCF and LCM, basically from LCM. Okay. So here the question says what will be the least number which when double will be exactly divisible by 12, 18, 21 and 30. Okay. So whenever you need to find the least number you should know the LCM of that number. So you need to find the LCM of 12, 18, 21 and 30. Okay. So in this particular uh, session, I will not tell you how to find the LCM. Okay. So if you compute the LCM of this number, you will get answer as 1, 2, 6, 0. Okay. So since the question says what will be the least number which when get doubled. Okay. So here we need to double that number. So here if we get this number, if we make it half and half will be 6, 30. So when it got doubled it will be divisible by all these number so, okay so option 2 will be the right answer okay okay coming to the next question and your time starts now it is from the proportion okay so the question says in a camp there is a meal for 120 men or 200 children Okay, so you, you can equate like this 120 men will be equal to 200 children. Okay, so if 150 children have taken the meal, how many men will be catered to uh, with remaining meal? Okay, so since 150 children have already taken meal, so we are left with how many children? Initially children were 200, so 150 have taken their meal, so we have 15, 50 children left. Okay. So, and uh, from this relation, you will find uh, one children equal to how many men? 120 by 200 men. Okay. So, since one children is equal to this much of men, so 50 children will be what? 120 over 200 into 50. Okay. So, if you solve 5 and the 5, 5, 4 is a 20, 4 and the 4, 4, 3 is a 12. So, 30. So, this uh, remaining food will be uh, catered with 30 men. Okay. So, 30 men is the right answer. Let's see the next question and it is on your screen right now. So, question says a towel when bleach was found to have lost 20%. What is 20%? As you know 20 percent is 1 by 5 so if it is 5 since it is lost so 5 become what 4 okay in this is length okay so and what about breadth so 10 percent breadth has been lost okay so breadth is what 10 percent 10 percent is again 1 by 10 so 10 become 9 okay so overall if you multiply the area it will be 50 and 9 for ja. 9 4 ja what? 9 4 ja 36. Okay. So you can cut it uh, with 2. It is become 25 and it is 18. So 25 minus 18 is what? 7. And 7 divided by 25 into 100 will be in percentage. 8. Okay. So 25 is a 25. 25 4 is a 100. 7 4 is a 28 percent. Okay. So 28 percentage of area will be decreased. Okay. So option 4 will be the right answer. Let's see the next question and it is on your screen. It is from the category called clock. Okay. So an ac accurate clock shows 8 o'clock in the morning. So it is 8 a.m. in the morning. So how many degree uh, will hour and rotate when clock shows 2 o'clock afternoon? 2 o'clock afternoon. Okay. So what is uh, the duration between these two time? So 8 plus 4, 12. 12 plus 2. So total there is difference of 6 hour. Okay. So as you know, 1 hour it 
equal to uh, it uh, ellipse with 30 degree okay so you have six hours so it will sweep 30 into 6 that is 180 degree so option 4 will be the right answer okay moving to the next question it is again from the divisibility okay so question says how many number exist between 100 and 1000 which are divisible by 7 okay so first number that is divisible by uh, 7 between these two will be what 105 okay and the last number which is divisible by 7 is 994 okay just you need to find that so this become arithmetic progression and you need to find the number of elements between these uh, three which are are divisible by 7 so as you know the formula is what a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 n minus 1 d okay here a is a first so first is 105 plus n you need to find out and d as you know difference is 7 and the last uh, nth number is 994 okay so if you solve this equation i am not solving it you can solve it you will get n as 128 so so there are total 128 number which are divisible by 7 okay so 128 is the right answer let's see the next question uh, this is very simple one here some numbers are given okay you need to fill with our mathematical sign in between so let's see the first so 5 into 3 plus 6 what will be the answer 5 3 is 15 15 plus 6 is equal to 21 so it matches so option 1 is the right answer okay let's see the next question it is from the direct indirect student whenever there is a relation y is directly proportional to x what does this mean y is equal to some constant multiplied by x so y is 32 and constant is k and x is 16 so what what is the value of k k is 2 okay so again if the relation is direct and you, y you need to find out when x is 24 so when x is 24 and you k value you know 2 what will be the value of y 24 into 2 48 okay so option 2 is the right answer okay let's move to the next question it is from uh, the height and distance so the question says uh, one ladder is leaned against a wall okay so this is our wall and uh, this is our ladder so it is uh, leaned against wall at 60 degree okay and uh, it from the foot of the ladder to the wall there is a distance of 4.6 meter okay so you need to find the length of ladder you need to find this okay so as you know the relationship cos 60 degree will be equal to 4.6 divided by hypotenuse okay so what is the value of cos 60 cos 60 is 1 by 2 and 4.6 divided by height of ladder so what will be the height of ladder 6 to 12 4 to 8 9.2 okay so option 4 is the right answer okay let's move to the next question it is from the time and work okay it is from the category called time and work so the question says x take uh, twice as much as uh, b okay so you can say if x do work x so in b will do that work in x by 2 okay and similarly it will finish a uh, c will finish in 3 uh, one third of that uh, is done by x okay just find the efficiency efficiency is the reverse of this time so it will be 1 upon x 2 upon x and 3 upon x okay and uh, since they all finish in 2 days so 2 days will be what 1 by 2 okay so just you need to find the value of x and if you solve this value of x you will get 12 okay i am not solving it again 
okay you will find value of x is equal to 12 okay so 12 days is the right answer okay this is not uh, 6 it is 12 days okay uh, okay 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 Th this we have a uh, 12 as a total day so they are asking about uh, b okay so since b is x by 2 so it is 12 by 2 12 by 2 is what 6 so this is not correct option 2 is the correct answer okay let's see the next question it is from the profit and loss so there is a 15 percent loss okay so 15 percent loss so if you calculate what you will get uh, what will be the sp since it is 15 percent lot 85 will be the sp if C 100 is cp so uh, but sp is given as 18700 okay and it is a f um, factor of uh, i think 22 100 okay so the cp will be double uh, it will be again 2200 zero, zero. so cp will be 22 two, this is 10 zero less this is 10 zero less 220 okay so it will be cp will be 22230 22000 okay so you need to uh, again sell it at 15% gain 15% gain is what 15 percent gain just calculate over the cp and if you solve it you will get 25300 okay 115 over this okay so option 3 is the right answer let's see the next question here the hcf of two number is given as 23 and uh, two factor of their lcm are this okay so which of the number is r just student just you need to multiply 23 into 13 this is the first number and 23 into 14 is the second number okay so if you solve uh, this what you will get 322 since this is a bigger number so if you multiply you will get answer as 322 so option uh, 3 is the right answer okay let's move to the next question uh, so we are uh, having uh, less time so i'm giving you this as a homework just try to solve this question okay and tell us uh, that answer in the comment box so we have already finished uh, year 2012 previous year question 2014 and now we are going to complete 2016 okay so we have done a lot uh, for this isro assistant exam and i request all the student to share with your friend okay and uh, this is a playlist okay if you are uh, interested in this isro assistant exam so you can have a look on that exam okay so thank you for watching and uh, if you have anything to say you can write in our comment box we will be happy to answer that okay so thank you for watching have a nice day